Hi guys, Olympic gold medalist Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. In previous videos, we've discussed different stances for use in a variety of clay target disciplines, but one issue that we haven't gone into detail about is just how wide should you have your feet apart. Today, I thought we would tackle this very debatable topic. How far you spread your feet will be determined by a few variables. Obviously, your body size and shape will be a major factor. Your height and the size of your frame will be key elements in how far you need to keep your legs apart. A wider base will give you more balance and sometimes when you use a firearm this will be advantageous. For the standing position in rifle shooting for instance a broad base will help stability and increase accuracy and in this discipline the correct stance is one of the most essential fundamentals to master. But too wide of a stance with stiff straight legs in some shotgun events can have its drawbacks. If your game is Olympic trap or in fact any of the faster trap disciplines, then this wider stance with stiff legs may stop you swinging quickly and smoothly to the extreme angled targets. If you observe many of the European Olympic trap shooters, you will notice that they adopt a much narrower stance, therefore forcing full body movement to the target all the way from their ankles up. Here's Jessica Rossi, one of Italy's greatest female Olympic trap shooters, portraying a very typical European stance. Narrow and quite open, coupled with reasonably straight legs and knees. Even though a smooth quick swing with your entire body is beneficial in most disciplines of clay target shooting, this narrower stance is difficult sometimes to adopt in some situations without some flexing of the knees. The trade-off here, of course, is balance. If you have your legs too close together, you risk losing stability. A wider stance to promote stability will favour only upper body movement unless you bend your knees slightly to help get drive from your legs. Letitia Scanlon, Australia's dual World Cup and Commonwealth gold medalist, is a good example of this. She gets the smoothness and drive from her small body frame by bending her knees ever so slightly with a touch broader stance. Getting a smooth barrel movement while bending your knees is very popular amongst American shooters across a variety of clay target disciplines. Here is one of the world's smoothest Olympic trap shooters of all time, Lance Bade. Lance wasn't a tall shooter and he didn't need a wide stance, but he adopted a technique with two bent knees that helped him drive the barrels to the targets quickly, fluently and efficiently. His resume is littered with world and Olympic medals to prove his technique worked. In skeet shooting, you're often required to quickly change the shotgun's trajectory for the second target 180 degrees in a different direction from the first shot. This discipline is an example where a wider stance provides balance with some barrel acceleration being driven by bending your knees. There is no better illustration of this than Olympic gold medalist Vincent Hancock and another extreme example is the legendary Matt Drake. One of American skeet's greatest, Todd Bender, is also a multiple world champion that uses his legs and knees to generate stability and smoothness while using a wider stance. There are always exceptions to the rule, and Italy's Ennio Falco had a tremendous career with his shallower feet placement. Ennio made shooting international skeet look effortless, but he wasn't a tall guy, and he could get away with the narrower stance better than most. In American Trap or DTL, where very little gun movement is required, then once again stability and balance with a slightly wider stance is preferred. Stiff legs are to be avoided. A natural standing posture is ideal as fatigue in this discipline can become a major factor. Here is the all-time king of American trap, the late Leo Harrison, showing off his footwork with a textbook open stance on Station 1. And here's another American trap legend in Harlan Campbell with what can only be described as the perfect one o'clock two o'clock right-handed stance from post three. In sporting clays, just like skeet, even though you know exactly where the targets to be broken, there is often great changes in direction and angles between shots. So a more varied and flexible approach is needed and often entirely different feet positions and stances are required on the same shooting station. This is currently one of the world's greatest all round shotgunners, Derek Mine from the United States, showing off his stance on a typical pair of sporting targets. Knees bent, weight forward, well over the gun. 
But just like any Ofelco in Skeet, there are always exceptions. And here again is another of the world's great all-rounders in England's Richard Folds. Here he is using a conventional, upright, narrow stance to shoot sporting clays at the very highest level. Experiment with what works best for you and don't be afraid to modify your stance when shooting different disciplines. Your stance is the most important tool to ensure your barrel flows smoothly and accurately along your target's flight line. I hope this small piece of advice helps and if you're looking to further expand your knowledge of the fundamentals of shotgun shooting, then have a look at our online coaching course, the A to Z of shotgun shooting. It's now available on our Go Shooting website at Go shooting.com.au. As always guys, I look forward to catching up with you at a go shooting range really soon.